with Watercolor with Kendra. Thank you so much for coming. Today is a really fun video. Of course we have our tutorial, but also I wanted to share a couple videos that I got from the New Jersey Scrapbook Expo and I think you guys will really enjoy it. I met some really awesome people there and I definitely want to show you that. I also want to apologize for not uploading a video last week. I just didn't get to it, so I'm so sorry. I hope for future weeks that I will not miss again and I appreciate you guys understanding my crazy schedule. So here we go, let's hear from them and then also get into our tutorial. So, Nell. Hi, how are you? Oh, hang on. <laughs> Hi, Nell. Hi. Did you have fun? I had a ball. Oh, good. What it was, was your favorite ball. thing? My favorite thing was probably having dinner with you last night. Oh, that's so <laughs> nice. Anything you want to tell anyone on my YouTube channel? On your YouTube channel? Um, yes, it is easy. Anybody can do it. Watch the tutorials. Watch the watercolor on Wednesdays. Yes. They have some really fun stamps. And give yourself a chance and you'll be able to do it. Yes. Nell DeMarco, thank you so much. One of my show BFFs. Love her. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I've got some really fun AI fans here. So you guys, what have you done while you've been here? Make it paint. Center, tons of classes. Okay, what kind of classes? Calligraphy Ooh. and a couple pages. Awesome. Layouts. Watercolor class. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Cool. So, what do you have in your hand? I have a card by Kendra. Ooh, cool. <laughs> and you can learn a lot for her. She even has her own website. So yeah. You can check her out. She's an amazing you. lady. Oh, you are just the sweetest. Thank you so much, you guys. What's the plan for the rest of the day? watering can. I went ahead and grabbed that out of the packet. So I'm also going to use number 86 African Violet. Now I know a lot of you guys can't get this color yet. No worries. It's going to be back in stock in September. So definitely get, the, get that pen when it comes back in. So I'm going to just ink that and I'm going to stamp that down on my watercolor paper just like that. Now we wanna take our brush and just wipe off the excess water and then just start pulling the color out of the lines. Now we need a little bit more water there. So start pulling the color out of the lines. Just like that. And I'm just gently using larger strokes to pull the color. going to add a little bit of water down in here for my shadow. Now notice I'm leaving a highlight in this area here because that is what is going to make it look round. So we still need a highlight there and I can always come back in and add more detail in here later but for right now I'm going to move on to my flowers. So we'll take our little daisy bunch out of our flower set and go ahead and grab any color marker you like. I'm gonna use the number 20 magenta from Marvie, and I'm just going to do our generational stamping at least five times. I wanna get that dark to light variation. Re-ink, stamp in a couple more. Re-ink and a couple more. Okay, so I've got about three little clusters in there. I'm going to go ahead and add my water now. And I want to just dab. So I'm just going to dab all around here, leaving white space. Don't forget to leave that white space. That's really important. It's what makes it look multi-dimensional instead of flat. You can see I'm kind of hazing out the edges. 
bringing that color out a little bit. And we're gonna keep going all around here, adding that water. You can see I'm not touching every single bloom. Don't wanna do that. I just want to get the water in almost randomly, okay? Now I'm going to take my vine and I'm going to ink just the very top of that vine, just about half of it. And I'm going to stamp once again in a series of five for the generational stamping method. I have got my stamps on wood at the shows just because it's a little bit easier for me to demonstrate using the wood mounted. However, I do love the cling and that is how we sell it. Um, the, the kits are in our on cling cushions. So we'll go ahead and put some more little vines in here. I'll move that around. And so we've got our little vines. Now I like to stamp over the top of the whatever vessel I'm using because vines come forward too. So don't be afraid to add those vines to the front. Once again, go ahead and add your water to this little image. And I'm going to just dab all around. I might get some blue in there, that's okay, don't worry. Just keep going, I'm just dabbing. And we're going to now put in some taller flowers right in here. I'm gonna grab my lilies from my flower set, ink those with my Prussian blue. I love this Prussian blue. You could also use the 86 African Violet if you want. Color my stem. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, or more, right? Just put those in right like that. And we are going to just add water to those blooms. I don't need to add water to the stems because it's gonna make the stem look really wide and I don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna dab all around here. Okay. Now let's put in some grass down here. I'm gonna use the jumbo grass from the foliage set. Go ahead and ink that up. And one, two, three, four, five, four more. Same thing here. Maybe we'll put a little bit there as well, okay? So get your grass in. Once again, don't be too careful. And just start pulling that grass out. I use a feathering method. You can use that or you can use a continual stroke where you don't lift up the brush. But that's totally up to you. I go straight through the watering can. I like that almost shadowy look that going right through it gives me. So I like to do that. If you like that, try it. If not, you can skip it. And then we'll just keep going like that. All right, so now we've got the basic image down. I wanna add a little bit of dimension down here. So I'm going to grab um, a little bit of color off of my palette. So this is the sepia. I'm just gonna color right onto my palette using my marker. That, and then I will go ahead and add that into the base of my image to add a shadow. So now that we have our little base in and our grass is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our teeny tiny flowers into the bottom. This is something I do a lot. And so I'm gonna grab that dark 86 African Violet again on those little tiny flowers. And I'm going to put those just all across the top of the grass like that. I'm gonna do it again. Just like so. And once again on this side. Maybe one more. <laughs> If it's not too full, it's not full enough for me. So I like a lot of flowers and foliage and goodies going on in there. So let's put our little sky in and then that's going to be it for this project. So I'm gonna grab my water. I'm gonna grab some of my color on my palette, this steel blue right here. I'm gonna 
grab some of that and we'll get a little bit more water here and we'll put in our blue blob so this blue blob you've probably seen this on my Instagram I have a lot of these little skies on my Instagram and I've got a lot of comments on wanting to learn how so this is how I put my blue blob in and then I dilute out my edges so I'm gonna move my water a little bit closer here and I'm gonna dilute out those edges just like this and just lightly sort of blur that line like that okay now I'm gonna drop in some more into the center and that's a darker that's the same blue but it's gonna be a, a more concentrated color than what we just blended out and then I'm just going to drop little driplets of water into that sky and you can see that color starting to move out and push the um, the water pushes the color out and then I'm going to grab my wink of Stella here and this wink of Stella this is just the clear watch what happens when I add this to my water it's going to start pushing out again and that glitter is just going to start sort of blending in with the rest of the color and then I'm just going to kind of move around and add that wink of Stella to my flowers or my grass whatever I want to okay and then I'll come down here and add the glitter into my flowers down here and keep in mind this is water-based so your color will move when you add that glitter so your watercolor markers will move because this is water-based all right so that is the end of Somerset scrapbook expo and the end of my video I'm just going to sign this work and that is it so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions please comment below if you liked this video make sure you hit the thumbs up and for sure subscribe to my channel if you haven't I come out with videos once a week so I will see you in the next video bye guys